Hello everybody, my name's Ian, this is my shed, you're all welcome. Christmas, come and go, it's as far away as ever. But I did get one of those, one of those little cameras that you can, well you can, you can do all sorts with, you can stick it in a case and you can go underwater with attachments to put it on your bicycle, motorbike, I don't have a motorbike action camcorder type of thing well I upset snobby scrapper one day he thought we was in the car going for a ride and we didn't so snobby a little ride just for you I'll get this video edited and up uh, it's just a little couple of mile drive round where I live couple of local historical points you may find interesting you may not come on snobby let's go for a ride I'll carry on the rest of this little walk with the uh, with the iPhone. Let's go and have a look at the church over there. Well, the shortest way of where I want to get is to just cut through the graveyard. This is a what's that one said? Uh, 1860. I know the older part of the graveyard is over there but that's not what I've come here to show you so that's 18 odd but what I've come to show you is what used to happen to naughty people here in Lowton and it's the original stocks which to be honest I think they should still have in operation so for you people across the pond who don't know what stocks are if you're caught being caught doing a minor infraction that didn't warrant jail time 
they set you on that stall, they put your feet through the holes, padlocked it, and you stayed there until your the allotted time was up and people walked past and threw rotten vegetables at you. I thought, show you the stocks, open stocks, and go back to the car. Got a couple of pubs here. That pub, the Ram Dead, quite an old one. And the one across the road, the Aaron Owens. There's also an old pub. And the, the door to the finger. And the door to that pub is about five foot two inches tall. Every time I go in there, you really gotta bend down before you bash your head. Let's go back to the car. So I know of another little oddity around here. So I thought a quick little trip to that. It's a little further up the road than what I thought, but where I'm after is that white building over there. So we've made it to the bridge. Um, the top of there. It's a railway line. And that, and I'll see if we can get in a better position. Hey, what I do for you people. Right, yeah, this is probably the best spot. Sorry, but if I lose this camera to the side of here, I won't be dead unhappy. Anyway. <laughs> it's not very imposing, but that is a monument to the first person to ever get run over by a train. Uh, I think it was uh, the actual Stevenson's rocket on the Rain Hill Trials. And you can Google that, but the guy, some prominent person, stood on the tracks, saw the train coming in the background, carried on with his speech, and didn't realise then how fast a train travelled, and knocked him over and killed him. Anyway, that's a little monument, little oddity, not too far away from where I live. 
Uh, it's a pity I can't get I can't get any closer. I'd be trespassing on uh, railway property. Well, to the very astute of you, you'll probably realise I did the intro at the same time I've done the outro. Uh, because I didn't really have a drink, then go out driving. It's just that when I went, when I came back, I realised no intro. So I hope you enjoyed those English country roads. It, where I live, all around here, it's steeped in history. Well, for the whole of the UK, is isn't it really? Now there's a lot more I could tell you about it. Uh, maybe. We'll have a ride out again in the car. Anyway, till then, wish you all a happy new year. All the best. Scrappy new year. <laughs> See you all in the next vid.